The XRB Air Cleaner Series is a compact radial seal design with built-in mounting brackets. Designed for off-road equipment operating in medium dust conditions, the XRB is smaller in diameter compared to competitive brands with similar airflow. The XRB offers improved handling and simplified maintenance. Changing filters is easy. Here are the service steps. Step 1. Check the filter service indicator. Filter service indicators mounted on the air cleaner system are recommended for monitoring the air cleaner restriction level and indicating when servicing is due during normal operation. Replace the filter only when the restriction level has reached the maximum recommended by the engine or equipment manufacturer. If the restriction level is in question or to test the initial restriction, Remove the filter service indicator and measure the system restriction using a clock type restriction gauge or a water manometer. For more on Donaldson restriction indicators and measuring tools, see module A18. Step 2. Shut off your engine. Step 3. Clean out the vacuator valve. Remove the vacuator valve and clean out any dust found in the drop tube. Reinstall the vacuator valve or replace it if it is found worn or damaged. Step 4. Remove the service cover. Unlatch and remove the service cover on the air cleaner to access the filters. Step 5. Remove the primary filter. The primary filter makes such a tight seal that you will encounter some initial resistance when trying to remove it, similar to breaking the seal on a jar. To break the seal, grab the end of the filter and gently move the filter from side to side and pull it out of the housing. Application note. Avoid dislodging contaminant from the filter as it is removed from the air cleaner housing. Step 6. Remove the safety filter. Next, remove the safety filter by pulling it straight out. This allows necessary access to properly clean the primary filter's sealing surface. Application note. If a safety filter is not evident, check to see if the safety filter has attached itself to the inside of the primary filter during removal. Inspect the seal surface and housing for any damage. Replace the complete air cleaner if damage is present. Step 7. Clean the inside surface. Block the outlet tube of the air cleaner using a small dampened towel prior to proceeding with cleaning the seal surface to avoid contaminating the induction system. Application note. Failure to do so may cause contaminants to be introduced to the outlet tube or onto the seal area of the primary filter during reinstallation, resulting in a leak for dirty air. With a second damp cloth, thoroughly clean the inside surface of the housing and seal surface. Step 8. Inspect primary and safety filters. Inspect new filters for any damage, voids, cuts, tears, or indentations in the media or urethane sealing surface. If the filter is damaged, do not install it. Application note. Replace the safety filter every third primary filter change unless excessive dust has settled on it during servicing. If you are reusing the safety filter, keep it clean while servicing the housing to avoid contamination. Step 9. Install the safety filter. Remove the dampened towel from the outlet tube that was used to protect the induction system during servicing. Install the safety filter by pressing it firmly in place until seated. When properly fitted, it should snugly fit inside the outlet tube. Step 10. Install the primary filter. Install the new primary filter by gently sliding it over the safety filter and pressing it in place until fully seated. When installing, apply pressure by hand at the outer rim of the filter, not in the center, to complete a tight seal. Continue pushing the filter into the outlet tube until it stops. The critical sealing area will compress slightly, adjust itself, and distribute the sealing pressure evenly. Step 11. Fasten the service cover. 
Replace the service cover with the inlet arrow lined up with the air cleaner inlet. Do not force the cover onto the air cleaner or use the service cover to push the filter into place. Application note. If the cover does not fit flush to the body, the primary filter is not properly seated in the housing. Recheck the primary and safety filter installation following the proper installation procedures so they become fully seated. The cover will then go on easily. Using the cover to push the filters could cause damage to the housing and will void the warranty. Refasten the latches to secure the cover and make sure that latches penetrate the slots in both the body and the cover. Step 12. Inspect the air cleaner system. Inspect and torque all clamps, bolts and connections in the entire air intake system. Check for holes in piping and repair if needed. To conclude our training module, let's summarize the service steps presented. Check the filter service indicator. Check the vacuator valve. Remove the service cover if applicable and then remove the used primary filter. Visually inspect the safety filter. If not servicing the safety filter, do not remove to inspect. If servicing the safety filter, remove and inspect. Clean the inside of the filter housing with a damp cloth. Inspect the new filters. Install the safety filter if applicable and then install the primary filter. Reinstall the service cover. Check the entire air system for worn or loose components. This information is provided as a best practices guide. It is not, however, intended to replace or supersede the service instructions supplied by your engine or vehicle manufacturer.